all the witnesses for uh, their patience being here today. Uh, we are working on an infrastructure bill. We're here talking about that. We also, part of that also is we want to make sure that this is going to be a, a green infrastructure bill. That is uh, the transportation infrastructure that we um, help out and choose. We, we, and we make uh, more green. And certainly rail is more green of a way to, uh, to move both uh, freight and also move people. Passenger rail is uh, the greenest certainly for inner city and possibly probably also for uh, intra-city. Uh, so uh, Mr. Anderson, I was uh, happy to have an uh, opportunity to speak with you uh, yesterday. I'm, I'm glad we, we, yesterday we talked uh, in my office about uh, labor issues. I'm glad that uh, when we were talking about what earlier you had, had mentioned in terms of uh, work that you're doing to uh, say streamline uh, Amtrak that you said we can't do it on the back of labor and I'm very happy that you uh, mm -hmm. you said that and we have to make sure that that uh, that's the way things move forward uh, but I want to ask you, Mr. Anderson about um, you know I'm obviously as everyone knows from Chicago I uh, have worked on create since uh, since I've been here uh, we've made a tremendous amount of progress on create uh, but there is still more work to do, as you told me yesterday about the uh, issues of Amtrak getting into uh, into Chicago. Uh, so I want you to uh, I want to ask how important is it uh, in doing an infrastructure bill if we're going to help passenger rail, uh, not just Amtrak. Uh, it would also help, uh, you know, commuter rail. It would help also uh, move freight in Chicago. How important is it that we? in this infrastructure bill, put more money into the Chicago rail system? Look, it's really important, not just for inner city passenger rail, but for Metra and for freight rail. When you come from Indiana and you get outside of Chicago, it's just a whole series of interlockings and a lot of delay and congestion. And so Amtrak has provided letters of support and matching funding for various aspects of the CREATE project, so we are supporters of it. I would note for you that for inner city passenger rail, we would like to build a direct line that's passenger only from Indiana straight into Union Station as being the long-term best solution to separating the freight traffic from the, from the passenger traffic. But in summary, we're big supporters. We have done matches when the local community has asked us to. We filed letters of support, uh, and we think it would go a long way, not just for Amtrak, but for Metra and the freights. And also important, as uh, we had discussed uh, yesterday about uh, Union Station and work on, uh, on Union Station, um, uh, making sure that the uh, the track areas get um, uh, get the work, the update, the that that they need, and I want to make sure we continue to be focused on that. And um, I know with anything else that may be moving forward with uh, uh, Union Station in, in, in redevelopment. So I I want to turn to uh, uh, Mr. McArdle. Uh We've talked about a little different issue here. We we've talked about how we're going to pay for what we're going to do for the highway uh, trust fund. And I, I just wanted to ask uh, what your thoughts were. I know that, uh, for example, Germany uh, has a, a VMT for, for heavy trucks. Uh, we've talked about moving to a VMT, but it seems like it'd be uh, easier than for cars and, and light trucks right now to move more quickly to VMT for heavy uh, trucks, and I was just wondering what your thoughts were on, on that. Well, uh, Congressman, thank you for the question. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why it would or would not be any easier. Uh, I think VMT is certainly one of those programs that needs to be tested. We encourage pilots, true pilots, proof of concept pilots, pilots that will test uh, the, the, you know, the personal security behind VMT. Pilots are going to test the, uh, the, you know, the, the evasion rates behind VMT type miles. Who are those that are going to try to avoid it? Pilots are going to really understand what the true costs are with the VMT program. But that, that would be easier uh, for right now uh, to do it for the heavy trucks uh, rather than, I mean, m easier than it's for passenger vehicles, though, because we already do some uh, tracking of the mileage for trucks, correct? We, 
We do, and then it gets into the equitable side with the VMT. We want to make sure that uh, when you look at between passenger cars and vehicles that the right approach is taken. Uh, just one other comment on the VMT. We, and, uh, I think it does need to be evaluated and looked at. Uh, but when you take a look at the number of registered cars out there, there are, you know, what, close to 280 million registered vehicles out there that we're going to have to make sure that we have a good handle on what we'll be doing when it comes to the VMT. So I think I heard it mentioned earlier today, it's the transition to the future, but I think the bridge to the future right now is still the Highway Trust Fund. Thank you. Yield back. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Representative Westerman. Uh, 